What's up everybody, Brian Clark here, coming to you from the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. I'm ready to share with you the latest features in this month's release of Visual Studio Code. Let's go check out some of the highlights in it. You're gonna to wanna to sit down for this one. VS Code's new feature, Log Points, allows you to monitor your code without stopping the process. Think of it as everything you love about breakpoints without having to halt the execution of your application. This can be particularly useful when debugging problems in production too. Here you can see I remove the console.log and replace it with a log point to help with my debugging while keeping the code clean. Code folding received an update and for several languages, folding is no longer based on the indentation but on the syntactic structure. You can leverage this functionality in languages like HTML, JSON, CSS, and Markdown, just to name a few. Are you interested in using more modern JavaScript syntax but not sure how to get started? Well, VS Code is adding support to help out through a new feature called Suggested Code Actions. These are visible through hints, which can be seen as an ellipsis below parts of code that can be refactored. Hover your mouse over the ellipsis to see the full hint suggestion. In some cases, the suggestions found in a hint can be done for you in code. As an example, if you're using a CommonJS based module, VS Code can convert it to an ES6 module for you. Please note that your app must support newer versions of JavaScript for the syntax changes to be valid. As a Node developer, you may prefer to start your application through the integrated terminal without a launch configuration. With the new Auto Attach feature, you can jump right into debugging your Node app after starting it. You'll need to first enable the feature in settings and then set any breakpoints you'd like in your code. After that, launch your Node app in the VS Code terminal using the dash dash inspect flag and you'll seamlessly transition into your debug flow. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was this month's release of Visual Studio Code. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like it, share it, retweet it. I will greatly appreciate it. Thanks again. Happy coding, everyone. I'll see you next time.